everyone. Welcome back to Apollo Art Analysis. This episode, we're going to be checking out a piece by the established AI generative artist known as Crypto Algo. In this episode, we're going to be talking about this kind of confrontational portraiture. We're going to talk about the industrial cyberpunk aesthetic, and we're also going to talk about the glitches of the AI generative realm. So let's jump right into it. So whenever you first see this work, you're kind of met with the scene, really met face to face with this daunting subject, right? It is a dangerous and a very striking introduction as the eye is likely to be caught on these kind of areas of a pinkish red. So certainly a very striking and daunting introduction. And so you'll notice, of course, our subject set in center here. So when an element is placed in the center, it always feels like everything revolves around it. So you're not going to miss our subject. Really fills every inch or pixel of the spatial composition and really a great introduction as well. So you'll also notice, it's, of course, it's accented through this dark on light contrast, primarily dark on light, and then a little bit of a light on dark contrast as we get towards the darker regions of that kind of ascendant background up there. So all very important when we're looking at this work. Of course, that pops out, stands out, and you're certainly not going to miss it. And so we are looking at a portrait format. So the portraiture, really classic here, you kind of have the bust of around the shoulders up. That certainly emphasizes the kind of intimate experience with the subject, but it creates a sense of confrontation. Of course, it feels intimate, but it feels very dangerous. So that dangerous intimacy certainly feels like a confrontation. So very dangerous, very cautious, and of course, daunting, like we mentioned before. And so in the realm of texture, you know, you have this kind of torn glitch effect, right? You have, of course, back there, that's what I mean by that torn glitch. And then you also have kind of the roiling fabric around the cloak as well. All very important when we're looking at this work. Even a little bit of this kind of metallic shine or that kind of rigid aesthetic as well. Even a hologram creates this really unique kind of virtual texture as well. All in all, this is a very harsh aesthetic. Of course, we have these industrial themes here. And that also mixes with those kind of glitch effects. All in all, the texture really invigorates the spatial composition. And what I mean by that, you know, you look at these textures, of course, the glitch as well. You also have this kind of hologram effect, and it kind of repeats downwards. So all in all, very glitched, and that also adds a bit of visual energy to the spatial composition. And you're going to look at this. Of course, you have visual energy through color, that really striking red, and then you also have visual energy through texture as well, whether it's the, you know, all these layers of the cloak, or it's that kind of glitch aesthetic as well, all invigorating the spatial composition with this really vivid visual energy. And so aside from that, like I said, you and you have this kind of torn glitch pixel effect, and that's normally native to the AI generative world, right? This is an AI generative art piece, so it's made by an AI. That is going to be mid-journey. We're going to go a bit deeper of that towards the end of the video. But aside from that, you know, you see this kind of torn glitch, right? That does add to a sense of horror. And when you look at this, of course, it's a cyber kind of horrific AI generative artworks. So you're going to recognize that AI art, and then you're also going to recognize the horror genre as well. All very important when we're looking at this work. And so we also see this kind of industrial aesthetic that I slightly mentioned. What I mean by that is you have this kind of a respirator or a breather there, and it appears to kind of hook up to the subject there. Definitely some industrial themes. It feels very gritty, but also that kind of futuristic cyberpunk aesthetic as well. There's a really nice mesh and kind of intersection of that, all very important. And that adds a bit of grime to the work at hand, right? You look at this, it certainly doesn't look clean. It looks industrial, smoky, dirty. So that also adds that sense of danger and the caution within the composition. And so, like I said, you know, this industrial grime certainly certainly immerses us within a very dark aesthetic. And so aside from this grime, we have this unique kind of cultic aesthetic. And what I mean by that, you look at these interesting symbols in the lower left region. It almost looks like a sash or some type of badge, maybe marking the identity of the subject. But that's what I mean by a cultic. You have that kind of pinkish red on black. It certainly feels like that. And with that in mind, you have kind of kind of the darkly divine. And what I mean by that, of course, divine is light as well as dark. You, you know, you have demons in the world of the divine as well. And we're certainly looking at some type of cyber punk demon here it's absolutely terrifying you know you're just met face to face with that so that's kind of what i mean by those cultish themes you know so with that in mind what do you guys see when you view this piece you know how does it make you feel and what do you think we're looking at here all very important questions to be asking whatever we're looking at this work and so it is within the sci-fi realm we're actually going to compare this to the previous work as well that we showcased within the cyberpunk series all very important here so the sci-fi realm of course you have that science fiction aesthetic that kind of future that's brought in here that advanced technology whether it's the hologram this kind of unique respirator hooked up into the almost like a biomechanical it almost looks like it goes into the chest there definitely a sci-fi realm there 
So the cyberpunk realm, of course, it's harsh, it's dystopian, it's authoritarian, but also mixed with that incredibly futuristic kind of virtual aesthetic as well. So we certainly see that within the work at hand, just a brilliant cyberpunk aesthetic. And so this is also an AI generative art piece. So it was made within the mid-journey AI generative art program. So the AI world is just continually expanding. You can see, you know, you can get very divine, amazing, you know, very light themes, but you can also get the darkly divine as well, which is what stands before us here. So really amazing work by Crypto Algo. We're going to compare it to the first Cyberpunk piece that we saw here. This is Cyberpunk 01 and this is Cyberpunk 02 that we studied today. So let's jump right into that. We're going to do that and then we're going to close it off here. All right, so here we are comparing both works within the Cyberpunk series by Crypto Algo. So you certainly see the portraiture format here. That's probably what's going to catch your eye. And aside from that, the colors are also very similar as well. Of course, you have that slightly pinkish red, certainly strikes just like the color red. And you also see, of course, the Cyberpunk aesthetic as well, extremely harsh across both of the works at hand. So on the left here, you see it's a little bit less defined. You have much more of that kind of machine industrial theme. It's very exposed. It's kind of mangled metal but then you compare that to the one on the right this is a bit more refined you know you, and you also have that hologram in the ascendant region as well so this one feels you know a lot more defined compared to this one this one is mangled and chaotic but it certainly catches the eye of course you have the peak both are kind of glowing against that background of course you have that brilliant contrast all very important when we're looking at this work so like i said this is these are both works within the cyberpunk series by crypto algo just an amazing work coming from the ai generative artist yeah i hope you all enjoyed today Today, we talked about the portraiture. We talked about the cyberpunk realm, science fiction, this kind of cultish aesthetic. We talked about AI generative art and just so many different things. So I hope you all enjoyed today. If you guys enjoyed the episode, go check out the original artist, Crypto Algo, always doing some really good stuff in the AI generative world. So my name is Apollo. This was Apollo Art Analysis, and I'll see you all on the next episode. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you'd like to support our work directly, please check out our Apollo community tokens. Polar Art Exchange is an ecosystem of art appreciation which elevates artists each and every day. Thanks for listening.